Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jimmy Williams again, yours truly. You're probably trying to figure out where's Jimmy. Here I am right here. I want to do something very special, a little bit different to kind of get you all revved up a little bit today. Okay? I thought it would be fun to do something like that, you know, just to get your, your juices flowing and to get that positive energy flowing. Okay, guys? I am delighted to be with you again. I know it's been a long time since you saw me make one of these videos where I'm going to be doing some coaching and mentoring and talking to you guys about some amazing wealth strategies that you can apply right now in your business that's going to help you elevate and be on another level. I mean, another stratosphere from the competition. I believe even in a downtime with a bad economy, if you keep the right attitude, things will happen big for you, okay? I'm a living witness. My wife's a, bit, uh, a living witness of that as well. We both have been from paycheck to paycheck for many, many years, living out of a car. You know, I had a breakdown where I had a physical stroke many, many years ago. My body almost went out on me. My mom, my, you know, things happened in my family with my mom and dad. My dad passed a while back. That was a very, very tough time for me in my life. My mom went through a little depression. She bounced back from that. My wife's mother passed a few years ago. She bounced back from that. She had many bad things happen in her life. And I'm going to tell you something. Through all of that, the Most High has been faithful to us. And he's, he's allowed us to bounce back with power and to be influential and to help the people in our conglomerate, in our circle, to come out of their situation. The power of that is when you come out of something, you have the ability to, you know, you want to be strengthened with the power and the ability to give someone a hand up. And that's what we've been able to do. So I want, I want to feed on your energy and I want you to feed on my energy because there's a lot of negative talk going on right now all over the place on the news. Just look at the news. It's everywhere. But, uh, you know, if you keep a positive mental attitude, read right books and develop right thinking in your mind, as I always teach you guys, there is nothing on this planet that you cannot do. Say this with me. With God, we say, Yah, or Yehoah, because we're Hebrews. With God, all things are possible. Say that with me. With God, or with Yahuwah, all things are possible. And that's true. But you got to have him in your life to have it. And he gives you keys. He gives you instruction. He'll show you what to do and how to prosper in what the world calls a pandemic. And I'm not denying it. It's a rough time on the planet right now for economics. And I'm talking everywhere. But if you apply some of the things I'm going to show you today, you will be amazed at what you can accomplish. Guys, you won't believe this. Today, I, I did a recording earlier, and it was an hour long. And guess what? The microphone that I had was horrible. And I had to come back and do the same recording pretty much again. And I had to build myself up and get the confidence to come to, 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 to bring this to you again with the same level of confidence and authority and, uh, and detail. And it was not easy to do because I had to sit there and muster up the energy to do it again. But I'm going to tell you, you do something one time, it doesn't come out right, go back and do it again. Do it again. Do it a thousand times. Do it 10,000 times until you get it right. That's what it takes to be successful in this 21st century. Some of the things I'm going to share with you today is going to blow your socks off. You may say, Jimmy, I'm broke. I got no money. How am I going to do that? There's a way to do it if you're broke. You say, you may say, I'm a millionaire. I just lost everything because of the pandemic. Millionaire, there's a way to bounce back. The most important key of everything I tell you today is your mind. Okay, I can show you all the, trip, the secrets and tips and tricks that, that millionaires use. It's not going to mean nothing if you have a wrong mindset. Right? And in light of, I have to stick a pin here, in light of what's going on in the racial climate, in the black community, in the white community, in particular, the Black Lives, Matter, Black Lives Matter movement, which is a worldwide movement, I think it's important to stick a pen and let you know as a black man, my heart goes out to every black man and black woman that's, you know, ever lost their life for the wrong reason, through racism and all those things and the oppression of our nation, uh, the oppression that black people have felt in the nation, as I personally felt it myself. I feel it a lot, believe it or not, guys, in the financial realm and in real estate. You'll be amazed at how many people have called me uh, out of my name and disrespected me because of who I am or because of what my skin color looks like. I'm here to tell you it's real and I've overcame it because I've refused to quit. But I'd be a fool to sit there and tell you it's not real. It's very real. And black men and black women, if you listen to me, your lives do matter. Don't talk about the miracle. Be the miracle. Get the education. Get the mindset. Pray and ask the most high to give you the resources to build yourself up so you can go back and build and give back to the community. Because this is how my wife and I, this is how we see it. In the spirit of Black Lives Matter, we as a black people have to understand that we have to make it happen as the governmental systems and the, and the other systems that we cannot control worldwide are doing their part to do what they got to do to help bring equality. We have to force it upon ourselves to get the education and the knowledge and the wisdom and the resources that galvanize together 
to make things happen while they're getting it together. It's not enough to wait for them. So let's do this, let's, let's work together. All the other groups of people that love me, uh, you guys have been following me a long time, whether you're white or Hispanic or Asian, it doesn't matter. I still wanna work with you, we have to work together. The information I'm gonna give you today is for all of you, okay? All of you, but in the spirit of Black Lives Matter, I'm just making a point that we're, put, we're putting that as priority to help black communities first. Now that I've said that, I can get into what I gotta say. I want you all to grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper. I always recommend that you guys get one of these, okay, because you're gonna need it. Millionaires and billionaires, you don't just keep it in your mind, you have to write it down and make it plain, okay? And any one of you who are broke, you have nothing right now, this will work for you too, because everybody has to start somewhere. Write down the things I'm gonna to say today, because I'm gonna to touch on some key topics that I believe is going to bless your life, and it's going to help you come out of where you are and give you a, a roadmap as to how you can prosper in a downtime, in a pandemic. I'm gonna show you something what I call a pandemic, because the people perish according to the Bible without a plan. Without, you know, the, without, with, the, with improper planning, you are planning to fail. So if you have a plan in the midst of a pandemic, you have a pandemic, you're ahead of it, okay? This is a, this is a fact I'm telling you. I'm gonna show you myself what we invested in, where we put our money, what, we, what we're doing now in a downtime to prosper. There's three keys, three techniques that I want you guys to write down and watch what I tell you and watch what I've done and apply it for yourselves. Give me 45 minutes to an hour of your time. Undivided attention, by the way. Stop whatever you're doing. Calm down. Let's get into this. And I guarantee you, when, you're, when we're done here today, you're going to have a strategy for the 21st century starting in August and beyond. Okay? If you're ready, for, if you're ready to go forth with me, just clap your hand and say, I'm ready, Jimmy. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay? I'm going to talk briefly on here. I'm going to, I'm going to go over what, what's on here and talk to you. You know, standing up for a minute and just kind of go over some things with you because some people understand it better. That it's a better way of communication for some people, more charismatic way. Some of you like this way. Then I'm going to sit down. I'm going to go and log on. I'm going to show you what we're doing. I'm going to log into some of my back offices. You're going to see some of our investments. You're going to see that I'm not just talking about it. I'm doing it. All of you who are believers out there, you believe the Bible. There's a scripture that Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach, we call him Jesus, some people say Jesus Christ. We call him Yahushua HaMashiach as Hebrews. He said in his word, that if you teach the word only and don't do it, you will be the least in the kingdom. He said to be the greatest in the kingdom, you need to do it and teach it. And so me and my wife, that's what we're about. We are about teaching something by example, doing it. I can't just tell you to do something that I'm not doing, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna talk from here, talk about the, the, the three topics or three strategies, if you will, and then I'm gonna sit down and show you the strategies that we're applying and will be done. Before I do that though, I'm gonna talk about the real estate market briefly for a moment. And this might be a stunning revelation for some of you, but if you, if you have any common sense, you know what's going on in the country, you'll, you'll agree with me partially on what I'm saying. At some point, you're going to agree somewhere. Me personally, even though I'm a real estate coach and mentor and personal development coach, I always teach fix and flip, buying and selling properties, buy and hold. Uh, Airbnb is really hot right now if you can get into that. And I teach buying multifamily and buy and hold them and have cash flow. But what I'm going to recommend right now, unless you're really schooled, really, really good in buying single family and smaller properties and in the bigger properties, the multifamilies with 100 units, I'm going to recommend taking a pause on real estate, time out on real estate right now. I'm not saying leave it. What I'm saying is be cautious of what you're doing. Here's the reason why. As you know, because of the pandemic, no one's going to work right now. Most of the people, the unemployment rate is at an all-time high in the nation. So when you get tenants, if they're not going to work or if their business took a major hit, how are they going to pay you the rent? I'm still waiting. If they don't have money coming in, they don't have cash flow coming in, how are you getting the cash flow to, 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 you know, to pay your mortgage when you go buy those properties and you gotta pay, you know, because you have a landlord as well, right? You see, you see you know, your, your landlord is the bank because somebody's collecting, somebody's collecting the mortgage on those payments. Well, if you buy the property, the mortgage is $800 a month, you get a tenant that's paying you $1,200 a month and they don't, get, they don't get their stimulus check or they don't get their $600 a week which just ended, by the way, by the government, which is the unemployment, how are they going to pay their rent? They can't pay it. And it's not their fault. The economy is not where it needs to be for them to pay you. So my, my suggestion to you would be to wait and back off of that right now so you don't get yourself in a situation where you can't pay, you know, where you're not, you're in the, you're not in the profit, you're in the debt now, and you can't make those payments to your, to your bank. 
That makes no sense. So there's no cash flow. So stay away from real estate right now. Unless you're really good at multifamily, you can buy the 100 units and, you know, you got, it's a big building and you got 100 units paying. The, the, the people there are more middle class. They got savings and all that. They're paying you $1,000 a month. That's a cash flow of 100 grand per month, right? 100 grand per month, 1.2 million a year. That building's worth about $10 million, the cap rate, right? That's a good deal because 10 or, 10 or 15 people, if they decide to leave, you still got eighty to $90,000 a month coming in, so your bank will like that. But if you don't have a situation like that, be very careful with real estate right now. Just take a pause until things begin to turn around and people get back to work to stimulate the economy. Strong warning, okay? With that being said, let's get into this so you can see some other strategies that you can apply that's going to help you. Number one, invest in tech companies. Invest in tech companies. I'm not talking about the regular stock market. If you look at the stock market right now, it's not really trustable. That's the word I made up. I don't trust it because, you know, if somebody gets on television and says the wrong thing, and then the market does this. They say something good, it goes back up. Then it goes back down again. And it's an emotional roller coaster. If you, if you put your last 20 or 30,000 into it, you may want to jump off of a cliff. If the wrong person says something and it takes a nosedive. S&P 500, I don't care what it is. Don't invest in that unless you really have money to lose. Only invest the amount of money you have to lose. But tech companies is more bankable. They're more solid. They're more, tech companies are futuristic companies that have, uh, you know, a very, they have a very powerful uh, structural DNA in them. When I say structural DNA, they're structured where they're going to process. They're very futuristic and how they've been structured. Their DNA is of such, they're, they're on a, you know, they're catechismic on the incline of what they're selling or whatever, whatever product or service is, it's on the uprise. It's going up, okay? It's a paradigm shift. They're, they're on the brink of a paradigm shift, if you will. You know, you, you buy into one and you put $1,000 into it, those shares are 31 cents a share, and all of a sudden, two years later, it's 30 to $50 a share, $100 a share, it's taken off. And so suddenly your $1,000 investment is worth 20, 30, 50,000, dollars $100,000, that one investment. But it has to be a product of, you know, that's, that's conducive to society to the point to where it's something that's going to add to society. It's going to be something that's going to be, you know, revolutionary. It's going to change things for the better for that stock to go up. Well, there's a lot of tech companies, in particular, there's maybe 5,000 of them out there. I've invested, my wife and I have invested in 40 of them. Well, I'm gonna recommend you do that because it's more easy, it's simplistic. You put your money there and you wait. You wait about a year or two, okay? This is the way to go. They're more bankable, they're more solid. And again, their products and services, wherever they're selling, is more bankable and more solid than stocks, regular stocks. There's some of the stocks like Apple and, you know, and Amazon, Amazon's $3,000 a share now, but most people can't afford to get into those. There's just so much to get in to buy one share. You should've got in 15 years ago. <clears throat> Hope I'm making sense here. So that's the first one. Number two, uh, corporate credit funding. Corporate credit funding, what is that? It's basically where you hire a company, sometimes there's certain attorneys that do this. They know how to go out and buy corporations, age corporations that are like five years old. They know how to buy them, build them out for you, build out the business credit on those corporations, get you, the, you know, set up all the, you know, basically if you buy one in another state, they'll transfer to your state, Make sure you're doing business legally in the state. Like for me, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. You have to make sure the people that do this for you can literally buy it, transfer to your state, get you all the business, business information, a working phone number, uh, get you an office space and all that stuff. You pay monthly for that. An aged uh, website that's like five years old. And then they turn around within 90 days and get you funded on that business corporation anywhere from 100000 to a $1 million dollars in one corporation. This is possible stuff that can be done. And that's for the sole purpose of raising capital. Some of you, you want an investor to come in and do this and that for you. You want all these other people to come in and give you, help you with your funding. But you don't understand, when you bring in investors, it's not a bad thing. But when you bring them in, they want something. They want a portion of your company. They'll give you $100,000 for 20% equity. Well, if, I, if someone gives me hundred grand to get my business going, and I become a million dollar business, and they want 20% equity, that means every year I gotta give them $200,000. So for the next five years, I give them 200000 and that's a million dollars they've made on me. They've only put up 100000 So I recommend staying away from that. This method works better, corporate credit funding. My wife and I own eight companies right now. We just acquired four more. We put about twenty five grand into buying four more to build business corporate funding. Get, it, you know, get the business credit, get each business funded anywhere from two hundred to a million dollars. That's number two. So, that, so number one was... Investing in tech companies, number two is corporate credit funding. 
Number three is you can't see it here. I'm gonna turn this this way so you can see it. Buying other cash flow businesses, okay? You guys saw that? All right, buying other cash flow companies that, that are already making, you know, $20,000 a month, $30,000 a month, 50 grand per month. That's a gold mine, okay? Now, some of you who don't have startup capital, you can't do that. But in this video today, hopefully I can accomplish that and I can teach you guys how to do it. There's a way to do it with zero money up front, okay? You're gonna have to invest something along the way when I show you the strategy. But you can start right now with nothing and I'm gonna show you the steps to take to do some of these methods that are up here, okay? So whether you're, you're a millionaire now or if you have 100,000 in the bank or you have $5 in the bank or zero, if you follow the methods, the methods I'm gonna teach you and show you today, within six months to a year from now, you can do some of these. Trust me, with the economy the way it is now and where it's going, you need to think outside of the box. Again, I'm not here to put anyone down. If, you know, if you, you're an educated person and you have a really good career, you love your career, fine. But I'm just telling you, you have to find ways to think outside of that system, that matrix system, if you will. Some people say, Jimmy, what do you mean the matrix? If you watch the movie, The Matrix, the people were, there were certain people that were in a different system who thought they knew what was going on, but they really didn't know until they opened up their eyes and literally took a pill to figure out there's another system that, they, that they're not, they don't know anything about, that they're living in. They don't know they're living in that system. So they had to take a pill to have their eyes open to realize, okay, I'm in another system. Now I know what I'm in now. Now I can think outside the box to do, to do things differently. So the American system, the world system is a system, but you have to be able to think outside that system to prosper in case that system that you're in happens to fail. And it all starts with mindset, okay? Stop watching CNN and Fox News and all these other places to, to, to I'm not saying don't be aware of what's going on in your nation. What I'm saying is get out of that mindset because you're gonna see one side and another side when you really need to see all the sides. Think outside the box because you have a certain methodology and a thought process over here and you got another group of people saying something over here and neither group is gonna help you become a millionaire. So, so it's shaping your thinking the way you think, especially I'm talking, let me, let me talk to black people for a second, especially you. You know, we, we've been in this country 400 years and a lot of things have happened to us. We realize we don't really jump on, so we don't need to be jumping on sides because both sides have been bad. Whether you're left or right, up or down, CNN or Fox, we've learned that we have to think outside of those systems to do some of the things I'm gonna show you today. No offense to anyone else, but you gotta, all of you now, you got to think with your mind outside of what you're used to to get what I'm saying today. If you think in that box, you're going to be in this little bubble and every, everything I'm saying is going to be mumbo jumbo to you. You're going to be like, what is this guy talking about? But if you're that 1%, which I hope is more than 1%, you're going to be able to understand what I'm saying today, right? So let's get in all of these here. I'm going to sit down now, okay, because I wanted to make this very special to you. Let me get a sip here and be very transparent with you, let you know. My wife and I are just like you. We started with nothing. Living out of our cars. Going from place to place. You know, came to Georgia two years ago. We didn't have much of anything. Drove here in a Mercedes and ended up having to sell the car. Car broke down. We started online businesses at that time. We already had some businesses, but they weren't making money. Started a Facebook group. It's now 18,000 members. Literally starting with our faith and what was in our head. We kept reading and growing and developing ourselves to become what we, did, what we are now. And I want to show you that it's, it's possible. So when I sit down now, I'm going to sit down now, I'm going to show you things that we're doing on paper. You're going to see, I'm going to log into bank accounts, you know, my other businesses, my, you know, my, everything that I'm doing, you know, my, uh, my tech companies, the businesses we're looking to buy, you'll get to see it to let you know that you can do it too. Ready? Okay, great. I got my chair right here. I'm going to sit down really quick. And hopefully this is all making sense to you. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna to try to do this very quickly. I have a Yeti mic here, and I'm hopefully, hopefully the sound is really, really good with it. There we go. And I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna do a screen share really quick. But guys, as I'm doing this, please, please, please make sure if you haven't gotten a pen and piece of paper yet, <laughs> I want you to sit down and do that for me, okay? Here's what I want you to do before I get started. Write down three levels of your goals, okay? I always teach, teach my students and the people I work with to do it in three methods, or three steps. The first step is going to be, uh, first, okay, so the first step or, or method that you should use is give yourself certain time frames to get things done. This is a very strategic method because 
if you don't give yourself a time a time frame, you know, you're, you, what you're doing is you're saying, you know what, it doesn't matter how long it takes me to prosper to make it. Give yourself deadlines, guys. It's going to work, okay? First month, first, uh, write down three things. The first, first thing should be, okay, where do I want to be in six months? How much money I want to make? How many lives I want to change? And what occupation or what do I want to be doing that's going to change those lives? Do that for three, six, three, six months, do it for 18 months, and then three to five years. I'm telling you guys, write the vision, make it plain. That's what the Bible says, okay? Write the vision, make it plain. And it may tarry, it may take some time, but it will come. But if you don't write anything, you're planning to fail. All right? I'm not going to say that again. Rewind it, rewind it, rewind it until you get it. We'll take it from there, okay? Now that we're back here now, let's take a look here. I'm going to make this a little more easier to, to manage here. Hold on. Okay, great. As you can see, this is one of my bank accounts here. I'm going to go over this, what this means in a minute. I, I did this for the sole purpose. Well, it's not a bank account. It's one of my bank, uh, one, of my, one of my online banking uh, logins, my back office. And I have several accounts here. Okay, these are bank accounts. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are for business purposes. I'm going to show you something as to why I did that earlier. Again, expanding your mind, okay? Expand your mind or you're going to work your behind. I always say that to you guys. Here we go. Let's start. I'm going to show you what we've done so you can see it for yourself, and I'm going to be done. I want to get done with this within an hour, okay? So we've been talking. I've been talking about 20 minutes. Less than an hour, I want to be done with this. But please take notes, okay? Number one, I just said this to you. Invest in tech companies. As you can see here, these are the 40 tech companies that I invested in myself. All right, you can take some time, just pause the video and look at all of these. Mental Happy, I'm gonna skip through some. Uh, uh, Flus App Inc., they're really, really good. Argility, Mumbai, Piestro, Liberty Access Technologies, Boku International, <coughs> pardon me, Raka International, Rumble Motors, Mud Vans, Start engine. Okay, as you can see, these are different amounts that I invested in. So that portfolio is worth right now about $12,100. $12, and I just went through, guys, and I'll show you how I did it. I did my, I did my due diligence. My wife and I, we, just, we decided we're going to make sure we study before you invest. I think you should, no matter what you're doing, know as much as you can about it before you put your money in. You don't have to be the best expert, but just do your due diligence. You know, investors, that's how they buy businesses. They go and see the business and figure out you know, what they like about it. They want to know more about the industry. If you look at what Shark Tank, you know, Mark Cuban and all those other guys, they, they, they tend to stay away from investments they don't, know, they don't know much about. And I'm going to tell you to do the same thing. Yes, you can take a risk, but work with things that you know more about. So that's what I did with all these 40 tech companies. And each one of them have different levels of shares. I'm going to show you. So, you know, you're talking anywhere from 100 shares, 50 shares. Some of them have up to 2,000 shares. So I would say totally, I have about 2,000 you know, not 2,000, about 20,000 shares total. They're obviously worth less than a dollar each because my whole portfolio is only worth $12,000. But let's say a year from now, when I'm able to have access to these, these companies to do withdraw my funds, if they become, if it's $1 per share, you're talking $20,000. Now this number may grow 10 times in a year. So if it grows 10 times, the shares become 10 times as much. We're looking at 120 grand guys, right? Let me take you to the website so you can see this, so you can see exactly what I did. How many of you guys know that guy? If you, if you do, stick a pen there and look at him good. Everybody knows him. His name is Mr. Wonderful. His name is Kevin. And uh, he recently joined venture with this company right here, startengine.com. When I was looking for a company to invest in, to use, to, to find good tech companies, they came up. Google them or go to YouTube, type in uh, Start Engine, and then type in Kevin O'Leary or Mr. Wonderful. You'll see that he joined venture with them to be their spokesperson. How many of you guys know this guy would never put his name on something that's not good? He just wouldn't do that. So he joined venture with them, he's their spokesperson. And guys, they've raised over $150 million with over 350 companies, tech companies that are on the up and up, tech companies that are revolutionary, you know? You know, they do uh, oil refinery, they do, you know, distilled, well, pure purifying water, they take bad water and make it good water, you know? Uh, solar, solar panels and things of that nature, solar energy, futuristic stuff. I'm talking some of the best inventions. Some of the, what they have is things that, that people look at and they realize in the next five, 10 years, people are going to need what they have. That's the power of certain tech companies. 
Some people say it's the end of the tech world. I don't think so. I think it's just getting started. But anyway, I, this is where I went. I did my due diligence. I looked him up and I said, you know what? If he speaks well of it, because this guy's not going to put his name on anything. I need to take a look at what they have. So I invested not just in the tech companies that's on this website, but I put $2,000 into them because you're able to invest with them as well. So when you want to invest, you, you, you go here and sign up for a free account. It's very easy. And when you sign up for a free account, you go here. Let me show you this real quick. This is some of the companies you can invest in. I invested in that one. I invested in Jet Token. Several of these, okay? These are awesome. Uh, Use Solar. I think I have like 2,000 shares with them, but let me just show you guys. This is actually closing in seven days, but if you want to invest, you just go here, click on it, and you get to see the information about the company. You'll see they, some of them have evaluations, some of them don't. But let me tell you right now, you can get rich a heck of a lot quicker investing in tech companies than you can in, in, you know, in, uh, <clears throat> in the stock market. Okay, so be very, very careful. Look at this evaluation, guys. A $10 million evaluation. $961,000 that they've raised already. $17 per share. This is a gold mine. Here's how you have to look at it. Think about Netflix. Think about Amazon. Think about Facebook. All these companies before they blew up. You can get shares 10 pennies on the dollar. Netflix is worth almost $500 a share right now. Can you imagine getting yourself a thousand shares in that? A thousand times 500, that's $500,000. You could have put 10 or $20,000 and bought, bought yourself, you know, a thousand shares. But now you can't do that because it's, it's shot up. Amazon, same thing. Jeff Bezos back in the early 2000s, he was going to, you know, pretty much just give up on his company. He filed for bankruptcy. The shares were very small, maybe $10 a share at that time. And one of the greats that you guys know about, Warren Buffett took a look at Jeff Bezos' business back in the day and said, Amazon is not going nowhere. He passed up the opportunity to invest in it. He came out a couple years ago and said, man, that was the biggest mistake he ever made. Amazon was $1,000 a share about eight months ago, but because of the pandemic, everybody's ordering toilet paper sanitizer. They're worth over $3,000 a share right now, somewhere in the neighborhood of that. Let me just, let me, y'all, some of you guys think I'm joking. Let me just show you, okay? Here we go. There you go. Take a look at that. $3,224 a share. But most people who don't know much about investing don't know how to do that. They don't know what's coming. Well, with this, you come in there, $17 a share. You know, I got myself uh, about 2,000 2, shares worth of this. But that's what you can do with this. You go here, you just click here to invest. You see the evaluation, the minimum amount to invest is 249 bucks. Some of you guys say, I ain't got a lot of money. If you got 250 bucks, you can buy some shares. Those shares can make you rich. That's a billion dollar nugget I just gave you, and you do it over and over and over again, okay? I don't have time to show you some of the names of the people who do this, but some of the celebrities and people you, you look up to and NBA stars, all those guys, they take some of their money and they put them in these kind of companies and they make a ton of money, all right? So that's what I did. I went through there and I did that. Let me show you guys my personal investment so you can see that this is not a game, it's not a joke, it's not a fraud, okay? There you go. 40 companies I invested in, 36 of them, $9,000 in that. These are regulation crowdfunding companies. These over here are regulation A. There are about, there's four companies up, up to three grand that I invested. And there you go, you get to see what I did here. This, <clears throat> pardon me, here's how it works. You go there, you set up for, sign up for an account. You start the investment, you, you add, you, because they do a due diligence on us as well. They check us out. They don't have to accept us as investors. If you get it in time, it may take a month before you get completely approved. And that's the protocol. So here, I got involved here. As you can see, I started here. It took maybe, I don't know, five or six days before they said, okay, your investment's now submitted. Took another week to say the funds are received because it goes through a process, a system, when you give your bank information. They, they check you out, they check your social out, they check out if you're a legitimate citizen and all those things. Funds get approved, and then finally funds invested. When, they, when you're invested as an investor, you become a small partial owner of that company. Well, JW Acquisitions and Development, we did that 40 times. So, for, so 40 times, we, are, we have our hands in 40 different companies as part owner of those companies. And they do everything by the book. They send you an email saying, okay, you're, you're, you're invested with us. Here's your subscription and all that. And they show you what your, what's on your certificate. They show you the terms and conditions. They tell you that you cannot take out your investment for at least a year, so on and so forth. So they, they show you exactly how much your, your stock is worth and all that. But I did that 40 times, guys. You can see here, 31 shares there. 
479 shares. You see that? Look at that, guys. Okay? This company is awesome. Their shares are $1.15. They don't, as you can see, they don't have a, a they don't have an evaluation here, but it's a futuristic company. Okay, they have software guys that helps forward-thinking architects and building owners and property managers. These are the kind of things that I want to put my money in because I know it's futuristic. But I'm not going to stay on this long. As you can see, 40 different companies I invested in, 458 shares. Look at that, guys. 39 shares. Now this company here has not fully accepted me yet. A month later, you see that. When it gets here, it's fully accepted, funds are approved, and I'm waiting. But 85 to 90% have already approved me completely. As you can see, my money's working. Okay, this is an awesome tech company that, that takes billions and billions of, uh, billions of uh, gallons of bad water and converts it to good water, safe water. You know what I mean? And, and if there's anything that you cannot live without is water. Okay, that's why, that's why I took my money and I invested it there. All right. 110 shares, 292, Aquapore, Reset, MSBAY, BAI, pardon me. That's an, that's, an, that's an abbreviation for something. Clearwater Distilling, Piastro. Take a look. I want y'all to see this now. Hold on. 200 shares there. I have one where I have almost 2,000 shares. Let me show it to you. Hold on. Just to build your faith, just to show you this is real. Okay, 330 shares there. Now, you guys can go to these. I mean, anyone that you see that's going here, you go to the website. If they're still there and allow you to sign up, you can go in there and you can invest yourself. Here's one. Use Solar. It's a solar energy company, guys. I got 1,941 shares for $310. What if, that's, what if those go to $10 a share next year? I just made a profit of about 19 grand, right? That's what I made. Let's take a look here. They have a $10 million valuation. I got in there. That's the one I just showed you earlier. Okay, 17 cents a share. There you go. Anyone can do this. Get a simple account. There's an instruction. Get a simple account. Go look at what they have. You have to buy by the rules and regulations that they offer. So if they're offering something, that was 17 cents a share. Let's take a, let's, let's take a look at this one right here. You got to go with what they're offering at the time. If it's still open, you have to pay the minimum amount. So here they have, they've raised... $800,000, over $800,000, $5 million valuation. The shares are 60, 63 cents a share. You have to put up at least $189. So if you have, a, you have about 200 bucks, because you're going to pay for the wiring fee, you can go in here and you can get you several shares here, guys. Look at this. And you become an equity partner. You have 22 days left to do it. You would click here, because I'm already a member. That's how it works. You go there. This comes up. You put out what you, how much you want to put in there. You, if it's 2000 you know, there you go. See, annual income. They ask you what your annual income is going to be, but you get to see how much that is. Okay, so they're telling me I cannot invest because I have so many investments already. Okay, and I put in my annual income and all that. But if I was a new investor and I hadn't invested yet, I could do this. Okay, you get my point, right? But I, I have so many. You know, I've invested over forty, but you guys will be able to do it. I just wanted to show you how that works. Number two, let's go into here really quick. Okay, so we're done with that. Number two, invest in corporate credit funding. Okay, this is what you need to do. You need to hire someone who understands how to go out and buy aged corporations, build business credit on them. You have to be very careful because some people are doing it illegally. They don't have a good attorney, you know, a real estate attorney or, or a corporate, corporate business attorney that knows how corporate businesses work. And they go out and they deal with shady people. And they, end up going, they, you know, they go to jail. They get a co corporation that's not active and it's, you know, it hasn't been transferred to the proper state for you to be able to use it with a valid tax ID number. People are getting in trouble by the IRS and so forth. Don't do that, but hire someone to do it right. So my company this year, we acquired four new ones I told you guys on the board for about $25,000, okay? $25,000 plus. And the guy that I use that does this, I've been knowing him since 2014. He's a really good friend of mine. He's one of the best in the business. He's been helping, he's probably helped me with over 100 customers over the last six years. With credit repair, and business credit funding and some other things that he does as well. He's fantastic. But these, these are some of the corporations that I bought here, guys. Okay. Commonwealth Solutions, Evolution Associates, Echo Pack LLC, Applied Certified LLC. He talks a little bit about what he did here. He said, Jimmy, I, you know, here are the corporations that are being finalized. Uh, that I'm that basically he bought them. He's making me the real new owner of them. So when you when they acquire them, they have to transfer them to your state and 
put your name on it as the owner. He filed the paperwork and all that. And he also said that, uh, you know, he's working on the domain names because you have to have websites and all that. When you talk about credit funding, you got to have the business in your name in your state has to be certified to be able to do business in that state. You have to have a business bank account. You have to have a website that's at least five years old and you're going to need a place of business. Uh, it can be, you know, like an office, you know, a virtual office where you're paying a monthly fee as a phone number. You can go there once a month and you can use the, you know, the space in the virtual office. You guys know how that works. All that's essential. That's what he did for me here. As you can see, these corporations are from New Mexico. He took them and transferred them to Georgia. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. So I can't do business in New Mexico, buying and selling property or what I want to do and get business funding unless I'm in the state of Georgia. So he did that on all of these, as you can see here. Okay. That's the right way to do it. And then here's another key step. The business credit lines, small business finance exchange. Okay. Uh, uh, experience, pardon me, experience business. That's a credit line. Equifax business, Paynet, Dun and Bradstreet. All this is done for you to build your business FICO, your business credit score, FICO is for personal credit. Here's something I want to warn you of. If your people say they can get you business credit and they don't know which lines to put on your business credit, it could take them a couple years to do it. The guy that I use, who's my, my, one of my partners, I've been on him long, he does it in about 90 days, sometimes 35 to 40 days. He puts the right credit lines on there. You can't just go to Costco and, you know, some of these other places, you know, uh, Sam's Club and, you know, these, these small companies and go get lines of credit, business lines of credit with them and turn around and get a hundred or three hundred thousand dollars in credit lines or funded that amount because they're not high enough. He goes and he puts over a hundred thousand dollar credit lines on here for you and it's done the right way for business credit. He's fantastic. So we got four businesses right now. We're about to get funded out. We're trying to get anywhere from 200 to a million on each corporation. <laughs> Guys, this is real. It can be done. If, again, if you're looking for, for seed money for your business, if you're tired of investors and all these other people you want to come in, you want to make sure you do it the right way. Here's a big question I want to ask, I'm going to answer for you guys. Some of you are probably still saying, Jimmy, I don't have the money. How am I going to, that $0 is a pandemic. They just slashed a $600 a week, you know, the, the pandemic money, <laughs> the government slashed that money for, for unemployment. What am I going to do? Here's the method. Write this down. Three stages. Number one, if you're broke, you're gonna have to, you're gonna must you're gonna have to muster up and find a way to get six hundred or seven hundred dollars, and find someone who's gonna repair your credit, and you just pay them anywhere from hundred dollars to one fifty or fifty dollars a month. I have somebody, one of my spiritual sons, and he is actually uh, one of JW Academy students. He's been one of my real estate students for about two years, but he went and he he studied credit repair and he got his own credit repair business. His name is So May. He's one of the best I know. He's helped my wife and I build our credit up pretty high too. But anyway, go to somebody like him, 100 bucks a month, give them access to your credit. They go in and they fix it, get it to 680 because you're going to need a personal FICO of 680, maybe 700, sometimes 720. Let them work on your credit for three to six months. Get yourself personal funding anywhere from 20 to 60K. If you don't have your last two, tax, two years tax returns or if they're showing anything less than 50 grand, you're not going to be able to get like 50 to 100. You, you should be able to get anywhere from 20 to 30. That's the first step. Fix your personal credit. Now step number two, get personal funding. Step number three, take the personal funding, which is 20 to 30,000, turn around, buy into one of these systems where you get personal, uh, pardon me, you take, you take the 20 to 30,000 and you apply for a corporation, an age corporation to go into business funding. Okay, so take, so the programs that I have for corporate funding, uh, they start at about $20,000. So for 20 grand, get your personal credit going, right? Once you get your personal credit, then you take that money and then get your personal credit right. You take the funds from that, the 20, 30,000 of personal funding that you get, you take that money, go into business credit, buy the corporation, have someone build it out. They build out your business credit. You get anywhere from 100 to $300,000 in about 90 days. You take that money, that 100,000 or 300,000, you take it and go and buy yourself another 10 corporations, age corporations, build those companies out, get up to $300,000 per corporation. You do this in about a year's time. And now you have $300,000 times 10 corporations. You have yourself your own seed money of about $3 million without anyone coming in, helping you saying they want to do this and that for you. Now here's a little caveat I want to tell you about to get business funding. 
Your, your personal FICO needs to be 680. That's in and that's outside of having the corporate credit. The corporate funding, my guy will do all that for you, but we have to build your personal credit. And what I'm going to do, if you decide to do this, I have a department that will help you fix your personal credit if you get into one of our bigger programs. We'll help you get your FICO to 680 in about 90 to 120 days. We can do that. But you have to go in at 20,000 to get the corporate credit. Don't just deal with me. There's other people that do it. That's the methodology. Number one, fix your credit. Get personal funding anywhere from 20 to 50, 20 to 30,000. Take 20,000, 50, 25,000, whatever. Buy into a system where you get the corporate credit. They buy the corporation for you. They set it up for you. Get you the EIN number. Build the business credit on there. Turn around and fund you in 90 days. 100 to 300 thousand dollars. Step two. Step three. Take that money. Reinvest it back into buying more corporations. Another five or ten, depending on how much money you're looking for. You build those out. 300 thousand dollars each, being conservative times 10, $3 million. That's the method if you're starting with $0. You're gonna to have to start with something. Even with $0, you've got to find a way to get yourself six or $700 and get somebody working on your credit. I hope you guys understand that. That's how it works, All right? Last but not least, and I'm gonna be closing because I know time is of the essence, okay? Because I know I've been talking a while here. Uh, number three, buying other online businesses, okay? That have great cash flow. Now, before I talk about that, I'm going to go into one of my websites here. Okay, you guys will be able to, not websites, I want to log back into my bank account because I told y'all I wanted to do that for you. Really, really quick, okay? Hang on one second. There we go. <clears throat> All right? So you can see that this is real. Okay, so this is my personal account. Well, not personal. This is actually one of my business accounts. This is JW Acquisitions and Development. And these are the other four corporations to show you that we really have this set up. And the, the reason there's funds in those, and we can't touch that money because we're investing and we're doing all these different things. But when you go for corporate credit, you're gonna need a corporate business credit uh, bank account, right? So those four corporations I just showed you, let me show you where they are in here so you can see that, again, this is legit. This is no BS in the wrong, guys. I did this for the sake of encouraging you, that's all. <clears throat> so you can see that this is real. Okay, so here's my, here's my, all my accounts here. This is my first one here. This is. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is my current JW Acquisitions Development. You guys know about that one here in Atlanta. Uh, this is the bank statement, $113,000. I just want to show you guys that. And then here are some of my other companies here. Hang on. All right, the ones I showed you earlier. <clears throat> Again, just so you can see, this is real. Okay, Echo Pack LLC. We had about 69K in there. We, you know, we've been working. All right, second one here is Applied Certified, LLC. 68,000 in there. I mean, that's, you know, that's what we've been doing, bank statements and all that stuff. Number three, Commonwealth Solutions, LLC. Same thing, okay? Number four, Evolution Associates. So, that, so there you have it, you have all four there, you can see what's going on there. And I did that just for the purpose so you could see that this is real, guys. This is not a joke, okay? Set your business up where you have multiple streams of income. It's the same thing when it comes to bank accounts. You want to have multiple street, multiple bank accounts, business accounts, to spread your wealth around to do different things with them. I'm going to highly advise you, get a, again, get a good real estate attorney, get a good tax attorney, get, uh, get attorneys that understand corporations. Uh, you know, they can show you how to put your, put your money in certain places where something goes down, somebody files a lawsuit or something, they can't touch your money, you know? Get yourself a trust where you can put money in that trust, all right? I would, if I had time, I'd talk a little bit more about not just trust, but insurance policies, things you could do to put your money in insurance plans and things of that nature to protect your funds, all right? But a trust is critical. I hope you guys are understanding this, all right? Another thing I wanna show you really quick is something else. I'm gonna show you another bank account. This is one I don't really use very often, but I use it for the sole purpose of monitoring my credit when I go do transactions. So you can see there's only 450 bucks in there. This is Wells Fargo. But I wanted to show you my FICO. Uh, and, this, and this is, and guys, this is recently. I mean, my FICO two months ago was like, uh, you know, it was like 550. And the guy that I had working on my FICO, again, he's my student in real estate. He started his own company. And in two months, he took me and my wife both to 700 FICO, right? So if you want to get personal credit, again, personal funding, you need to be between, between the 700 and 720. To do any corporate credit, you're gonna to have to have corporate credit funding that I talked about earlier, you gotta be at a 680. 
So as you can see, this, this, this felt good taking a look at this. But if we can do it, you guys can do it too. Again, this is just to encourage you, okay? So back to my last point so I can wrap up here. You want to invest in buying cash flow businesses, okay? My wife and I are currently looking for a cash flow business that's worth about a million dollars a year. Some of you are going, Jimmy, I still don't have any money. To get the financing that you need to do this, you have to follow my method I just explained to you, the corporate credit funding. To buy the tech companies, to buy 40, to get like 10, you know, 10,000 to your portfolio, 10 or 20,000, you gotta try the, the method I just explained. If you're just gonna go in the tech companies and buy one or two, 200 to 300, 400 bucks, you can do that now. Now with this method, you're gonna to have to have seed money or great credit to buy these businesses. Because most of them, they want cash or they want you to go in you know, and you know, get financing for however you're gonna get it. So these are the couple of websites. I wanna show you this really quick and I'm done. Uh, the websites that we use, the main one that I'm using right now to, get to, to try to find a million dollar business is Flippa.com. Flippa's really, really good. Uh, if you don't have that much, looking for a little less, you can go to Empire Flippers. Let me click on that so you can see what it looks like. Okay, you just type in what kind of business you're looking for to come up. It'll tell you the profit. It'll show you what the, you know, what they're making the monthly revenue with. They'll show you, you know, how much they think it's worth, and they'll show you how many employees they have. You know. Uh, how much money you got to pay out as opposed to, you know, you're going to see your gross income and your net income. All those things you're going to be able to see. Another company here is Exchange Marketplace. I like them too. They're really, really good. Um, here's a business right here I want to show you guys before I show you the business we're trying to buy. But let's say you don't have that much money to, to go out and buy a million dollar business, right? You'll be amazed at what you can do with 50000 or 100000 Some of you have savings. Some of you have 720 FICO, right? You're looking for cash flow business. Here's a good one right here. Cash flow business, okay? Fifty thousand dollars. You go out. You go, you know, credit cards, lines of credit, whatever you got to do, get the money to buy this business. Or if you have great credit, you may be able to finance it. But fifty thousand dollars. This guy is selling a, a business. That, listen, to this guys. It does one hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars in revenue per month. Cash flow. Not, pardon me. That's not cash flow. That's that's gross. <laughs> I said that wrong. After everybody's paid, the cash flow is about 60 grand. You see that? $12,000 in inventory, they get about 100,000 people visit their website per month. That business is, is shooting, it's making some money, okay? So you do the math on that. Is, let's just take a look. Is this a million dollar business right here? It could be, let's take a look. It's making 50, $58,000 a month, right? Conservatively, right? That's cash flow, right? Times 12. 696,000, so roughly $700,000 a year. To get a real good business evaluation, it's not a mom and pop shop. So, you know, you can say, you can say to evaluate a business, you have to see what the cash flow is yearly and divide and times that by 10. Same thing when you evaluate property, right? If you're going to check out a property, a property is making a million dollars a year, cash flow, 10% cap rate, you times that million times 10 is 10 million. The evaluation for the, for the building is $10 million. It's similar when it comes to buying these kind of businesses online. If it's making 700,000 a year, you times it by 10, it's pretty much a $7 million business. That's the evaluation. It's the same thing when you see network with people like Oprah Winfrey, for example. If she, they say she's worth 3 billion, her cash flow has to be 300 million a year, which that's about right. She's anywhere from two to 300 million a year, which gives her a $10 million valuation on her, on her net worth of herself, right? No different in businesses. Now, what makes internet businesses a little bit different is they have different trends. Sometimes, if they're not only up and up, you know, they may not be worth that much in two years because somebody is giving them a lot of competition online. So, even if we're conservative here, conservative here, and we're going to be very conservative, seven hundred thousand a year. Let's do let's do it times five. Seven hundred thousand times five. That's three point five million dollars. So, yes, this business here can be bought for fifty grand, and it's worth about three point five million dollars conservatively. All right, this is real talk I'm giving you guys. This is one of the best ways. This is the way Warren Buffett did it. Met Romney, some of the other guys. A lot of my, a lot of guys that I look up to that, that mentor, that I've got mentorship through books and tapes and, you know, in real estate, this is what they're doing. Jay-Z is doing this, okay? Sean Diddy Combs is doing this. Both these guys are nearly billionaires. The things they don't tell you is that they're out buying other businesses. They're not just joint venturing with, these other companies like Tidal and Ciroc and all that, they have other businesses that they buy. This is how Warren Buffett became a billionaire. He kept buying other or acquiring other businesses. Just like you acquire real estate. Now, as I said before, real estate right now, just take a pause, but 
You can buy certain businesses that's on the internet right now that's making money because a lot of them are drop shipping companies. Here's a company my wife and I are looking, looking into buying, just in closing. This business did about $2 million over the last three years combined, okay? They're asking $150,000 for it. And again, I always, tell, I always tell you guys, when you're looking for something revolutionary to buy or something that's you want to put your money into, make sure it's on the up and up. It has a product or service that people can't live without. Okay, in this climate of depression, people are not working. The kids seem to be not getting so depressed, right? Because they're always in the plan, or the young people, right? Well, this product is this company's out of Australia, one of the most trusted sellers in balancing scooters and electrical electric skateboards. This is the product right here. That's what it looks like, right? Guys are doing seventeen thousand dollars a month consistently. Uh, they have ten thousand viewers per month, twenty nine thousand page views. The net in, the gross income is about $58,000 a month. Now that's less than the business I just showed you. The other business was 58,000. That was the profit after everybody's paid. This is, this is before everyone's paid. After everyone's paid here, you're still making about 18 grand a month. Okay. And you go look at, I'm going to show you what those raw numbers are going to look like in a minute. You get to see on the incline where the, tr the traffic can see how it went up. It was down before and it just spiked recently. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's 2019. Pardon me. So it really took off in December 2019. You get to see the page views and everything. You get to see the history. Make sure you check all this stuff out, okay? They, they're paying for traffic. Their biggest movement right now, I think, is Facebook and Instagram and all of that. Paid search, referral, this is how they get their traffic. They get in their top countries where the, who's buying the product. So it's a worldwide business online. So you can't go wrong with online businesses, guys, okay? Look at this. $217,000 back in... Back in December, they made it a month. I guess, that's, I guess that's gross. And you go down and you find out why they're selling it. Why is this guy selling this business for that, for that amount? You would think, okay, business like that, $17,000 a month for $150,000. Okay? This business, okay, so if you evaluate the business, let's say, let's round it off to $18,000 a month, right? Guys, this is a million-dollar business. Let's take a look at it. Why would he be selling it for that price? I'm going to tell you why in a moment. So let's say eighteen grand times twelve. Okay, 216,000 times it by five equals a million dollar business. I mean, we're being conservative. If, if, if it was a brick and mortar a little bit different, we could say times 10. So it'd be worth 2 million, but I'm being very conservative here. A million dollar business, he's selling it for 150,000. Here's why he's doing that. Here's the reason why. He has 14, 14 other brands that, that are more important to him or him or her, right? He wants to get rid of it. He's got other bigger fish to fry. These are the things you want to look at. You want to look at motivated sellers. He's motivated because he wants to move on to other things. So it's like when you're buying and selling property, you try to find a motivated seller. You want to do the same thing when you're buying businesses. When you're doing everything I taught you guys today, all right? But this is the business we're looking into. I mean, there's many more you can do that. You can do this with, but you can take a look and see everything you need to know, how they're getting the traffic, what they do day to day, customer service, okay? Some of these guys have their entire team in place. When you buy, when you buy the business, you wanna say, hey, listen, will you please stay on with me for another three to six months? And if you do that, you know, to help me see what's going on, you know, I could pay you a little bit extra if you stay on with me. You know, tell them, give me some kind of guarantee that they're not gonna steal your clients and that kind of thing. But because that's what you're going to need. You need somebody to kind of walk you through it. So you get your feet wet and all those things, okay? I really appreciate you guys hanging out and staying to the end because, you know, this, the things I just gave you can help you become a millionaire despite the pandemic. All right? Everything I just gave you is key for you to prosper in this climate system, this current system right now. Take action. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. Make the, make the adjustments in your life and stop making excuses. Winners find ways. Losers find excuses. I don't want to use the word losers. Quitters or people who don't believe that they can do it because I don't want to use the word loser, right? Because we've all lost at some point in our lives, but the winners just refuse to quit. But winners find ways, then that don't want it find excuses, right? I want to encourage you to stay strong, continue to do what you got to do, you know, and I want to show you guys this. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I'm right here. This is me and my wife, okay? My Facebook group is called JW Acquisitions. 
uh, funding, fix and flips, and real estate education. That's what we focus on. And we have currently right now in our group about 18,000 members, as you can see here, we have a leadership team. Uh, because of what's going on with the pandemic, some, some of the leaders are doing their own thing, which is great. Uh, and I just pray for them all the time, our family, uh, their families and, and everything they're doing to stay safe. Guys, stay safe. Do what you got to do. I pray for you guys the same way I pray for them. You know, wear a mask, not just because, whether you agree with wearing the mask or not, do it for the safety of your loved ones and people around you. Um, think about other people other than yourself. That's what real visionaries do. You think about how you're going to change the world, not just changing your own pockets. That's going to happen by virtue of you staying faithful to the call, by virtue of you doing what you wrote down, by virtue of you just, you know, having a rule to succeed. Those things are going to happen if you don't quit. But true visionaries, is always, they're always thinking about the world and how they can change it. Just as you can understand, me and my wife, we think about the other countries that's out there. We, we invest internationally. We're buying property all over the world right now, guys. We, we want to help change the black community in particular. We're not just trying to buy single family properties. We're trying to buy entire cities. In fact, some of you guys might have saw this. I'm going to show it to you right now. We are looking at buying a property that is in, uh, let me just show it to you really, really quick. A property that's in Toomsboro. Well, not, the, well, not a property. We're trying to buy like 35 properties. It's an entire community at, that's in, that's my personal picture. That's in Toomsboro. You might have saw this. And I'm looking for entrepreneurs, black entrepreneurs, black investors right now in the spirit of Black Lives Matter. We want to be able to buy that, buy you know, those houses in that community, fix it up, do some great things with it, create jobs for the people. It's about an hour from Atlanta, okay? I just talked to the broker about a week ago. The property's still available. Some of you guys who are interested in that, get back to me. If you are a white investor, you can still contact me or an investor that doesn't, that's not black. I have other opportunities that I want to put you guys in if you're looking. But this particular opportunity here is for black investors only. No shade, no disrespect to other groups because we do know all lives matter. But in this particular climate, with the death of George Floyd, what's going on with black people, and that spirit, black lives matter right now. That's the topic of the, of the day. And the reason it's a topic is because for so many years, even in real estate, guys, like I said, I can't tell you how many times I've been discriminated against, treated bad, disrespected. You know, if you guys know what redlining is, you know, that's where they redlined it. No matter how successful a black person was, they couldn't buy a property in certain areas. Uh, institutional racism when it comes to real estate. Those things are real, and I've witnessed them a lot. So now that I've made them come out, our job is to reach back and help other black people have something. So if you read this here, it talks about, you know, how we're trying to make this another black Wall Street. And since then, I've had a guy that came forward, another black man, he said to me, hey, I'll commit a half a million dollars. So I, I was going to put up 200000 of my own money, and I needed 10 other investors to put up a hundred grand. Because to get it, we have to put down like $1.2 that property is worth like two, 2.6 million. I think that's what they're trying to sell it for. But here's what you get. You get a ton of stuff with it. Okay, guys, you get, uh, you know, it's a warehouse, a cotton warehouse, a restaurant, barbershop, uh, opera house, you know, a historic inn. It has, you know, uh, a filling station. It has a water wheel, a grist mill. It has several houses, maybe about 40 properties there. Okay. So you can see what they look like. Let's take a look here. There you go. That's me and my wife there. And again, if you're from another group, you want, so you want to invest, I have other deals that we're doing, you know, but particularly I'm focusing on this one right now. But if you call me, you want to do something like this with me, give us a call. <clears throat> you can visit my, my page here. My, again, go back to this page here, which is my Facebook group. You can leave a message. You can post a comment. Go jump on one of my comments. Let me go back here. And we'll take it from there. We'll, we'll talk to you guys. You guys can talk to us, okay? This group is particularly for education. Uh, people are posting in there about their own properties and things of that nature, but I focus on education, real estate education that's going to make a difference in your life. All right. With that being said, thank you for giving me your time. It's been exactly one hour. One hour. As I always say, I'll see you at the top. Why? Because we have to get there together. I don't want to be at the top by myself. I want to see you guys up there with us, okay? No man wants to be an island, especially in this business. We want people to come up with us. Pray for my wife and I. We'll pray for you. Okay? Let's get to the top together. Take care. Bye-bye.